Today is March 8, 2017. We're here for a team meeting with the Local Universe Father and Local Universe Mother. It's about 9 p.m. and we're in the Great Room. Diana's told me that they are here. We welcome you both. The Father is seated to the right in the green blue chair. And the Mother is seated to the left in the Royal King Tut chair. They are appearing to us in normal size the father is over six feet tall. The mother is over five foot six. Thank you so much for coming tonight. We have so many questions to ask you. So many. And I'm sure you know all of the questions already. <laughs> um, Michael and I have announced the 10-year plan will be put out on March 27th on Hercules's radio program which sounds really exciting and also we're including the announcement of the magisterial mission which will begin on March 20th and that will be the spring equinox and we have also been told by you Father at the impromptu meeting to announce the magisterial son had been working with you on Friday March the 3rd to begin plans to inaugurate the new magisterial mission on the March 20th date. So that brings us up to this point. Michael, do you want to welcome them? Yes, thank you so much for being here. Father and Mother, we uh, appreciate your presence here and we appreciate all of the work you do with us uh, and all of your patience of course as we try to uh, you know uh, get into a groove with with all of this new information and this work that we're doing with you and now with the magisterial son so thank you for coming for our impromptu meeting uh, last Saturday uh, March 4th to announce to us that the Magisterial Son is now working with you, Father, especially to inaugurate this uh, Magisterial Mission. Um, so thank you for that information. Thank you for everything you do for us, making our lives wonderful. Thank you so much for being here tonight. As Diane said, we, we have a lot of questions for you and I hope you can give us some guidance too. Thank you, Michael. That's very nice. We have been praying about the new magisterial son. I say new because even though we've been searching for Maitreya for many, many decades, this news is new to us. This is a new facet in this journey. Um, we knew there was going to be a magisterial mission not too long ago, but now to be told, of course, that the magisterial son is here and perhaps, as you said last week, that he will actually come and allow us to see him 
and we will be hearing from him and he will be working with the angels and with the Melchizedeks here in the home. I am told by you, Father, last week upon inquiry that Maitreya is relocating this week, this very week, from his London headquarters in England and will be relocating to the Los Angeles area to be near the Father's headquarters here in Mission Viejo. Uh, we are told that Benjamin Cream did pass away this last 2016 on October 24th and we do pray that everything is going in accordance for your plan for him now so we are now finding out that Matreya will be in the Los Angeles area predominantly working out of that area that he will now be operating in America rather than in Europe as he has been for several decades now. And this is very exciting news for us because the Los Angeles area certainly uh, is very close <laughs> to us here in Orange County and we are delighted that his presence will be known. Um, you also have mentioned that in three years that he will be coming to this home with you to give us the request for this, this second three-year period after this three years of the world peace prayer. And that request will be given here in this home and after that we are promised that he will come here and work with the angels and the Melchizedeks here and we hope that it will be frequently from what you have promised it sounds like we will know of his presence uh, quite often after the next three years. Michael, do you want to begin the questions? Yes, uh, thank you very much, Father and Mother. And we have certainly felt the presence of the Magisterial Son uh, since your announcement on March 4th. Uh, we've definitely felt it. <laughs> felt it happening, felt the movement, felt his presence near to us. Um, and we, we thank you so much for allowing us to be a part of this, uh, this new movement, this new visitation, this new work. Thank you so much. Um, before I ask the questions, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to mention uh, that this also coincides, as you know, with the World Peace Prayer that we've announced. So we uh, hope that everyone... Um, Everyone on the announcement list will uh, be joining in with us tonight to pray for world peace since that is one of the requests that you have given to us um, since last July and in the first three years or spanning the first three years of the uh, ten-year plan. So I'd just like to say um, Father and Mother and Infinite Mother, wherever you are, if you will please help everyone to open their hearts and their minds to your love and compassion uh, and mercy and spread that love and compassion and mercy to their fellows uh, fellow brother and brothers and sisters on this earth so that we may all cultivate world peace and as the infinite mother wants us to do we pray for peace on other worlds and other universes and other levels of reality as well. So we say 
world peace. World peace. peace. World peace. Yes, we certainly do. God bless this world. Yes. Thank you, Father and Mother. My first question. My first question is uh, for the radio program. I wanted to ask Father and Mother if you could give us some guidance on how we should approach this uh, the announcement of the 10-year plan on the uh, radio program Voice of Olympus this coming March 27th, 2017. So far, Hercules has, um, our information for him has been, you know, that we would be announcing the 10-year plan, but now we're, we're told by you uh, that there's a magisterial son and a magisterial mission involved in the 10-year plan. So how do you think we should approach the 10-year plan with the magisterial mission and the magisterial son? The Father wants us to begin by explaining how we began our search for Maitreya and the magisterial son or world teacher or Buddha of the future whichever name you wish to use but he is the magisterial son for our upcoming um, event our magisterial mission um, he wants us to tell them how decades have gone by of study trying to find the origins of Maitreya. How working with Elizabeth Clare Prophet and Mark Prophet, going to her lectures and gatherings that we found from her the origin of Maitreya that he and his wisdom masters and of course the primary Buddha all arrived from Venus 90,000 years ago for a salvation mission for the earth. They sacrificed themselves to come here and dedicate the last 90,000 years to uplifting the world. They want us to tell how we studied Theosophy and searched for Maitreya in the Theosophical readings. They want us to tell how we found Maitreya through the Tao flying to Malaysia going through Taiwan first and journeying there with Master Wong who is the head of the Tao of the world headquarters in Taiwan and going to the temple in Malaysia and being able to give him a two hour um, talk that we had prepared and letter and with his people to translate what we were saying since at that time he was not fluent in English but he is now. They want us to tell how we have been searching and reading and now at this moment we find that the magisterial son will be coming to us and this is really exciting that he will be coming and sharing some of the glorious future that humankind will have under his teaching his teaching of sharing of love and of grace so we will look forward to his presence and 
learn more about him more quickly now, I'm sure, from the Father. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Is there anything that uh, maybe the local universe mother might want to say or offer? Local universe mother, is there anything that you might like to uh, offer as guidance or suggestions for the radio program? Uh, we begin, it sounds like we begin with uh, telling them about our search for Maitreya. Mm-hmm. And of course our recent search in the Urantia book talking about a magisterial son and magisterial mission. She also wants you to give a not a thorough history, of course we don't have time, but she wants you to go into uh, the origins of the magisterial sons and mm. the paradise their, yes, and their duties and how this is going to be affected mm-hmm. through the Urantia book because it is through the Urantia book that we are now presenting mm-hmm. the magisterial son who is Maitreya and who is the Buddha of the future but he is the magisterial son and that is his uh, title for enacting this magisterial mission. I see, so we we, uh, talk about our origins of our search for Maitreya, Elizabeth Clare Prophet, Mark Prophet, Theosophy, Tao, and now through the Urantia book uh, Mm -hmm. the magisterial missions magisterial mission, uh, magisterial son being a paradise son of God who comes uh, at a particular point in uh, the evolution of a planet, evolution of a, of a race, humanity, to uh, begin a new period of civilization, of, of light and life, light and life, of upliftment. Uh, and that is what is happening now with this magisterial mission. I so it sounds that sounds like we'll be um, portraying it through the eyes or through the frame of the Urantia book at this point. That is what she is saying. Mm. That we are now, at this point, um, directing it through the Urantia book. Mm. Okay. Um, now, we are getting from you that you're saying that Matreya has said that we are coming to the end of a civilization and the beginning of a new civilization. And you are telling us that this will be 2024, the end. 2025 will be when our magisterial son Matraya will be inaugurating a new civilization and beginning that at that time. So the changes are coming very fast. Mm -hmm. So the end of the civilization as we know it, 2024, that's about seven to eight years. Yes. Mm -hmm. The beginning of a new civilization Mm -hmm. that this magisterial son will Mm-hmm. Work, work at or begin inaugurate, inaugurate mm-hmm. in 2025. Yes, yes, that's what that's what they are saying. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And of course, the ten-year plan is the first segment of the magisterial mission. Okay, the 10-year plan is the first segment, and the 10-year plan starts on March 20th, March the 20th, 2017. Exactly. Which is less than a month from now. Exactly. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. yes. 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 And the predominant prayer for peace will be the first three years of that. World peace prayers. Yes. First three years. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we have already put out the 10-year plan Mm -hmm. to some people on our uh, CD. So 
that message we will have to also tell the readers and also the people listening to the radio program on the 27th what that plan is. So we have to remember <laughs> that there's a lot going on right now that we have to cover in that first hour with Hercules. Yeah. So I, I guess one of my questions would be um, how would we portray the how would we portray the 10 year plan in relation to the magisterial mission magisterial mission related to the 10 year plan because we've announced already mm -hmm. that the show will be the 10 year plan mm -hmm. now we've brought in another element here yes. based on our information mm -hmm. on March 4th mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that we're teaming them together so yes. what, what would be the best way to portray that or the best way to present that well the father is saying there are actually two presentations that we have to give because his presentation is the 10 year plan uh -huh. of wanting people to think of him more to thank him and to love him more That's right. He That's wants right. us to thank him three times a day, morning, noon, and night, for their life. He wants us to thank the mother three times a day for all the blessings that we receive. He wants to enter into a closer loving relationship with each person that will take up this invitation of his to become closer and have a better relationship that is more filled with love. The second presentation is quite different. The magisterial son is approaching the magisterial mission in an entirely different way. He is looking at a more economical way to live for everyone in the world to be able to share what they have. He is looking at a different political system to bring into effect. He is looking at more um, concrete ways, more material ways to live in the world and bring about more peace and joy and happiness. It's kind of like saying he's the businessman and the father is the priest or the religious leader, the God, of course, which he is. But there are two different presentations that are going on here at the same time. Mm -hmm. The uh, magisterial son wants to bring about real material changes and benefits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the father is looking for um, love and spiritual and um, closeness and mm -hmm. uh, thinking about our life eternal. The magisterial son right at this time is thinking more of concrete here and now and how to get the job done. Mm -hmm. So it's two presentations and they are quite different. Of course they will come together and they mm -hmm. do and they they do work together. The father does work with the magisterial son and the magisterial son will be coming to work with him. But they are uh, to be presented by us mm -hmm. on two different levels. I, I assume it would be a top down. It would be the 10 year plan first, then magisterial mission. Absolutely. The father has approached us first yes. with his 10 year plan. Mm -hmm. And then after quite a while after that, then he told us about um, Maitreya coming and his part in it. But that was afterward and we hadn't even really gotten into the idea thinking about this. What really happens during a magisterial mission? You really have to deal with this world here and now and there has to be some manager, some executive director, executive director to Boots come. Boots on the ground. Exactly, okay. exactly. 
Yeah, boots on so, the ground, real action, real yes. tangible, mm-hmm. real tangible mm-hmm. action, tangible results for yes. the world. Yes, People, mm-hmm. political, economic. Yes, yeah, social, social, social needs. And morals. Social ethics, equality. Religion. And yes, yeah. yes, of course. Yeah. So two presentations, and they are different. These individuals are very different in their approach. Yes to affecting this magisterial mission. Even though they're both paradise sons. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But their approach will be different. And uh, the mother is even saying that, please remember the magisterial son is not coming as a religious leader per se. The father is, the mother is, the infinite mother is. But the magisterial son is coming for those who have no religion, perhaps. Mm. He's coming in a, a with a different perspective. He wants to get the job done with everyone, whether they're religious or not. Yes, I understand. Yeah, yeah, so. And I want to add, too, um, that when we were searching, which I forgot to mention, for Maitreya, and this was when we were with the Dow, which was decades ago. 1994, 1995. In those years, I was asking fervently, where is Maitreya? Where is he now? And at that time, I was told that he had taken a body uh, with red hair <laughs> and blue eyes and fair skin and he was working in Scotland. And I thought that was very interesting, especially since I was working with the Dow and working with our good friend Kun Lan Chak who had taken the master's training with Master Wong. And she's Malaysian. And yes, she's and Chinese, she's Chinese, Chinese but Malay. she mm. is from Malaysia. Yeah, Chinese Malay. And I thought, this is really strange, and I'm telling Beth about uh, being told that he was in Scotland working um, with red hair and a a body of that kind, but uh, she did not feel disturbed at all, because like me, she knows that he has taken many different bodies of many different races, and whatever um, he needs to do, I'm sure he does. So I just want to mention that. Mm-hmm. Um, we have seen him in photographs as a very tall, Middle Eastern looking person, as the photo in Nairobi in 1988. But with him coming to Los Angeles, relocating to America now, and not being in an Asian community in London. We do not know. So I think the next question is that we ask, and who wants to answer? Mother? No. (laughs) Father? Father will answer. (laughs) Mother doesn't want to. Tell us. (laughs) Father, can you tell us if Matreya will be coming as the tall Middle Eastern person? No. The answer is no. He will not. Many people have seen him in photographs and now would recognize him. Mm-hmm. And that might be a detriment. Yeah. Well, there is uh, there are there's a, a large diversity of cultures in Los Angeles. If he were to manifest or take on a, bo- a visible body, I guess he would have, you know, he'd have a, a lot of choices, you know. Uh, I mean, it is a, a lot of cultural diversity. Yes, yes. Yeah. So he will not come as a Middle Eastern person. Is that correct, Father? That is correct. Hmm. 
Father, are you telling me that he will come as a Hispanic in Los Angeles? This is what he's saying. Okay. Is this the only body that he will take in the next few years? No. Okay, so that's it. He'll take a variety of bodies. Yes. So he will be relocating to California, to America, to the Los Angeles area in a Hispanic body, predominantly, predominantly. for the next 20 years, predominantly Hispanic. Father, do you want to tell us the other bodies he will take? No, but you will later. All right, he will later. So you will tell us, yes. Does uh does the magisterial son take on a body according to the circumstances or according to, you know, the particular group he wants to focus on? Or to some extent, yeah. yes. Or is it more yes. complex than that? I mean, it could be more complex. Than that. Um, not necessarily. The, the um, items you brought up are certainly sufficient reasons uh -huh. yeah. to have that happen, uh -huh. yes. So he will be presenting to us as a Hispanic in Los Angeles in America. Next 20 years. For predominantly Hispanic for the next 20 years. But he will be taking other bodies as he sees fit during that period. Oh, during that 20 year period? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. So not Hispanic for 20 years. No. But no. No, predominantly Hispanic for is, the next one. Yes, the but different bodies according to what yes, the needs are. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And will the magisterial son, will he be working in, like in a job as perhaps he did in London? He will. He will take a job. So he'll present himself just like every... He will present himself mortal. as another mortal. Uh -huh. Yes, working. Uh -huh. In some type of function or some type of employment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we were asked by one of our Urantia friends, emailed us yesterday morning, and they wanted to know where are the Melchizedek's? And that was his question. Where are they? You are saying they are here. They are here. Are they in the home? Not right now. But they are here. Now by they are here, what, what, do you, what are you inferring, Father? Are you inferring that they are on the planet? Yes. Are you inferring they are in America? No, I'm not. He's not inferring that. Are some of them? Some of them are. Now I know, Father, that there are many various times that you've told us there have been Melchizedek's in the home here. And when I saw you in the encounter at Wadsworth Mansion, there were 10 Melchizedek's in the group of 40. Are those particular 10 here also? Yes. But are those the wisdom masters that the magisterial son will bring? No. No. They're not the masters of wisdom. That particular group of 10 Melchizedek's oh, okay are not the Melchizedek's that are working with the magisterial son. They well, are different. So they're not the ones working with the magisterial son 
during the magisterial mission, correct? They were working with those Melchizedek's here in our home. Uh -huh. But his particular group of Melchizedek's are a separate group. They're a separate group than the, than the ones than working Than the ten the that the father and mother bring with them uh -huh. oh, okay, are a separate gotcha. group. Okay, uh-huh. Yeah. So the, ma the magisterial son has his own group of yeah. 12. Is it 12? No, it's not 12. That's for bestowals. It's not 12. I mean, according to the ranch book, that's in a bestowal, mm -hmm. there are 12 that accompany the magisterial mm -hmm. son. But this, mm -hmm. a magisterial son, might, I mean, a magisterial mission might be a little different. There might be more or less Melchizedek's, but nonetheless. It is different. It is different, but nonetheless, he is traveling with his wisdom teachers who are the Melchizedek's mm -hmm. of his group, his group, his personal group. Personal group. His personal group. These are not the ten that are can belong to us, the Father. Can they tell us the number? They're not going to. Okay. Right now. I know there are also archangels. Yes. Will you get more specific, Father, as time goes on? He will. Okay. He will. So just general at first. At actually, part of the reason is because the group is growing. Okay, so he's we, assembling the group. Yes. So it's not a set group. It's it's being assembled and developed. It's not the set team yet. Is being assembled. It's not set yet, uh -huh. and the group is growing because the finally the announcement has come out that the magisterial mission is now going to be inaugurated just this very month, just the twentieth of this month, which is. Um, hardly any time at all when you consider today is the 8th of March already. So there will be Melchizedek's in his group. There will be Archangelus in his group. But the group is enlarging because of the enormous uh, enormous uh, needs Challenges. of the world right now. Mm -hmm. enormous needs it's it's a crisis so it is a spiritual crisis then um, they're calling it more of a global crisis yes yeah yes yes global crisis yes it's a real physical because it's not just uh, it's not just people not going to church and, and venerating no. God it's no it's political, economic, yes. social. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have to enlarge our thinking now. We've only been thinking of the father and the mother and the infinite mother and the love that we have for them and how much that we appreciate what they give us and our life and our blessings. But now we have an added element to this whole situation that has to be addressed. And the magisterial son is gathering his team together to do that and to begin that and he'll be, be beginning that very soon. Mm -hmm. Not that he hasn't done a great deal of work already, but finally now they are going to put their plans into place. Okay. I have a question. Mm -hmm. I have a question, Father and Mother. Um, has there ever been a magisterial mission of this magnitude like this on the earth before. He would rather not discuss that at this time. He will at a later. Mm, he may give us more information, but not at this time. Okay. Um, has the magisterial son done work of this magnitude before on the earth? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. So there has been a need to do work of this magnitude on this earth before. Oh, absolutely. Just absolutely. At this time. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But this is going to be something different. This is going to be different with different outcomes. Could we call? Could we 
Father, can we, Mother, can we call this a magisterial mission? Is this, is, is, Absolutely. is that a good term? It is a magisterial mission. Okay, so it's a good term for what it his is. work is going to be at yes, this time. Yes, yes, and the magisterial son is ready. He is in place. He is relocating here to do his job for the Father. Yes. And after three years, he will be... Um, taking over more of the duties of the Father and making himself known much more. Mm -hmm. But not during this next three years. Is that correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. But after this three years, he will make himself more known, mm -hmm. more well-known to people. And his Will the Melchizedek work. make themselves well-known and visible also? as it says in the Urantia book? Not as much. They probably won't be that visible. Not like the magisterial son. We may not even hardly know that they're there. They are his team. They are working with him. They, they will come in human form and work with him physically. But probably it will be a whisper compared to the magisterial side. So sun. like more behind the scenes type work? Yes. Yeah. And I don't think people will be um, really uh, noticing them as something different per se. I don't see that, that they're saying that. Mm -hmm. they, they are what not. What do you mean as something different? I don't think people are going to point and say, oh, that person looks different, you know, than a normal oh, person or something uh -huh. like this. I yeah. think they're going to be more invisible to human eyes, perfectly normal and human and in human form, body form, but I don't think people are going to notice that they are actually a part of his group. We'll know it. Mm -hmm. Will we know it? No. Mm -hmm. But they are being assembled and grouped and going to be ready and he's going to enlarge the group because of the crisis mm -hmm. so. is this one of the bigger crises uh, that we've seen on the earth that needs attention no but it is it is a major magisterial mission okay it is a magisterial mission and it sounds like it's a transition to a new type of civilization or a new type of living on the earth? Yes, yes. Yes, it is. That requires perhaps a little assistance? There may not have actually been a magisterial mission on the earth before. So this is something that is going to be uh, dealt with differently. But yes, there have been periods in the earth's history that have been of great magnitude problems mm -hmm. that have had to be dealt with. So, mm -hmm. But this is still something different. This is different. Mm -hmm. It's ten years of the Father extending his invitation for love and thanks. Mm -hmm. And the Mother also is included and offering a deeper, closer relationship. Yes. And if they accept that, then he will stay in a close relationship with them, not only for the rest of their lives, but for eternity, possibly. Mm -hmm. I also had another question. <laughs> Just hope you're doing all right there. <laughs> doing great. <laughs> My other question... Um, that I was thinking about is um, with the uh, with the magisterial mission uh, I assume that um, there is something that we need to do you and me Diane you and me possibly uh, a little bit different that we need to to do to um, 
you know, to, to get the message out or to um, make this happen, uh, facilitate it? Is there something called yes, another that yes. we need to do yes, there is. more differently uh, to make yes. this happen? Yes, yes. Okay. And I am assuming that you will continue coming monthly to continue to guide us in the direction that we are to go? Yes, they will. There is no need to discuss it tonight. Mm -hmm. But they will. They will start giving us the information that we need and what to do. So, you did say that the magisterial son does have his crew, so to speak, and then you did say that he was going to enlarge that, and therefore you don't want to give a certain figure since that is being enlarged at um, quite a rapid rate <laughs> every day, and they are including more and more helpers for him. And you did say that we would not necessarily notice the helpers know that they are significantly different looking than normal people. And you did tell us that he would be Hispanic coming into Los Angeles area. Taking a job, you did say. It does say in the Arantia book that when there, are, uh, when there is a paradise sun bestowal, they do take on work. Like mm -hmm. Jesus was a carpenter, mm -hmm. you know, that they do mm -hmm. take on mm -hmm. uh, work. Like Yes, it says work. he will take a job. Um, is this job in maybe newspaper or publicity? No, no. Economic? No, no. Political? Political. He will be taking a political Political position? Political position of some kind. Political. Political. Like a, like a federal government type political position or like a local no. government? Mm, um, he doesn't want to go into that right now, but he will. he is giving the information that it will be political. Mm -hmm. He will be employed in a political position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that will Political. have a, a little bit bigger sphere of influence. Yes, yes, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Then perhaps. just then just maybe someone working in a factory or something. Of course, you know. of course. So it will be a political. Not that a person in a factory can't change the world. Of course. Like in Poland. Of course, but <laughs> you know, but it just. Uh, I mean, during the is. solidarity movement. Right. But, yeah. Know. But it is that he is going to take a job that is politically motivated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that will be the employment. And what about your, uh, the helpers of the magisterial son? Will they also take jobs with him in that political area? Oh. Yes, mm -hmm. they will. They will start filling positions in yeah. a political uh, environment with him, with him, to help him, political. Are there are there more helpers, father and mother, with the magisterial son than just Melchizedek's and archangels? Are there more? Yes, they more are. More types of, of yes, people there are. beings? Or? Yes, yes, absolutely. And the number is growing. So he really doesn't want to get into that no. because it's, uh, it's not fixed. Yeah, it's it's still, still fluid. Mm -hmm. um, everything is just beginning. Oh. Magisterial okay. son is just getting his team together. Mm-hmm. 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 Nine forty-nine. Okay. Mother, do you have any more questions or answers or anything for us or to tell us or you want us to ask? No. No. Father, at this time, you do, you do. Do you have any more questions? He's open to... Well, I just hope that uh, I'm not giving you too many questions, Father. <laughs> uh, well, if 
again, thank you so much for being here. I, I'm always thankful. I'm always so thankful. Um, and like I said on our last team meeting, I, I feel that we're so blessed to be a part of this and our lives are just bursting with <laughs> new ideas and joy and dynamism and our, our lives are blossoming and our hearts are blossoming, our minds are blossoming. I'm just wondering if, um, Father and Mother, if you want us to extend our influence out past the radio program and if you want to extend, you know, your influence, our influence out past the ranch uh, community, because we have about a hundred people or so that we we contact, is there a, a point at which you want us to do a little bit more, uh, a little bit more widespread? The or, Father is saying, right now, no, not right now, mm -hmm. no, not right now too premature. So just kind of keep it simple yes. at this point? Uh, yes, right uh, now. Let people kind of mull it over. Yes, a let people grasp a little bit of what is happening and the enormous changes that are coming within 8 to 10 years and certainly within 20, 30 or 40. So just let people try and number one, understand that there is a force that is joining with the father and mother to try and implement some concrete changes in the world to add to the father's invitation of love. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess uh, maybe I will ask another question that kind of leads me to another question, father and mother. You've talked about the 10-year plan, how uh, you want world peace or want us to try and cultivate world peace to thank you, to love you, and to build a, a closer relationship with you. Is there something that each individual should do to help fulfill the magisterial mission? Is there something, you know, is there action people can take, individuals can take? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number one, his word that he wants to leave with us tonight is to be more unselfish. <clears throat> to be more unselfish with your neighbor, with your family, with your loved ones, with your friends, and with the community. To be more unselfish. That is the word. Number two word could be more generous. With what you have to make sure that you are not using an excess of what you need and that perhaps that couldn't be shared with maybe someone who has a need for it. So we could say generous sharing. Yes to begin thinking of the magisterial mission as a mission of beginning to think more of our neighbor and what his needs might be if our needs are taken care of. You know that kind of, that runs perfectly, excuse me father and mother, I just feel like I'm having a, a, little, uh, a little light bulb go on that our thanking you and our being gracious for all of the things that you give us and you provide for us is an act of unselfishness that we look outside of ourselves and everything that we get, 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 get we look outside of ourselves to think of you and to think of all the gifts and all of the love and the life that you give us it, it, it seems like it kind of runs in tandem a little bit there, that we're generous with our thanks, we share our love with you, and that we're unselfish and not so egocentric in thinking of you, expanding our, our love and our thanks and our praise out to you, not just for ourselves. The mother is saying, tell the people not to be afraid of sharing with others. 
people are expressing fear that they will have to share with others and they are afraid of sharing with others we have to learn to give with love we're so used to having so much and it becomes necessity that we forget others have needs and don't have all of that abundance that we're able to have in our life and we need to learn to share and not be afraid of sharing do you have any more questions they are still here okay so it looks to me like uh, there is a spiritual aspect to this father and mother and there is a material tangible aspect to all this mm -hmm. there is a spiritual graciousness and there's a material graciousness it sounds to me is there more there is more and and they will fill in, fill us in as as time goes on okay. now another question i have is is there are there other things that people can do uh, maybe to change their lifestyle is there a is there a necessity for people on the earth to change their lifestyle again they want us to go back to this word of being unselfish I mean in particular in other words okay if we finally get to the point of saturation we must stop and say to ourselves am I being selfish or am I not this is something that I think that we have forgotten in our society today to ask ourselves this question sometime when we are trying to fulfill our own personal needs we need to stop and say am I overdoing this am I being selfish could some of this this excess um, abundance be given to maybe those who have none I think with the magisterial sun coming in that we are going to have to keep the word share in our mind more and this is something we can do on a personal level <clears throat> begin to share what we have a little more and maybe stopping the fulfilling of our own personal desires and saying am I at a level where I am becoming selfish if you are then stop and start sharing with others some of that excess the word oversaturation really hits home especially in, in the prosperous areas of the world there's so much food intake yes there's so much technology intake yes yes there's so much there are so many material goods that people have packed in their homes that including ours <laughs> <laughs> it could be uh, maybe maybe yeah. just not not necessarily distributed to others throughout the community or the world but maybe just a, an attitude or uh, well actual distribution would help too well, if every family mm -hmm. did begin sharing a little more even that would be a small mm -hmm. uh, a small thing compared to a, a large government program or a so forth but but it would help the people need to start looking at what do they have are they perhaps becoming selfish are they I think they need to look at themselves and really yeah. think about this compared to people maybe in the world that have nothing or starving yeah. or uh, what, what I mean by attitude too is what I mean by attitude is uh, the the wants become needs 
And we take on an attitude of uh, over-saturation, that we, you know, that this particular thing is a want uh, that eventually becomes a need, and everything else in our life and all other people are all filtered out so that we can fulfill those wants and those needs, almost to the point where we get, become like addicted to these particular uh, what are now needs that used to be wants. Yes, yes. The father wants us to have an abundance of love. The mother wants us to have an abundance of material goods. But there is a 32nd degree in that where you reach a point where you have to say, I'm being selfish. I have to stop. I have an abundance. I have plenty. But I have to start sharing the abundance that is over that selfish point with others. And that is, I think, the attitude that you're talking about, that we have to change our attitude about everything must go to us. Everything must go to everyone, not just us. And the magisterial son, I think, is going to bring that point across to us that this is so and equal and fair distribution is going to have to be the rule and it looks like that this is something that he's going to try and um, put a lot of effort into so people haven't done it on their own basically. no no, yeah. not enough. Some people have. I, I look at some people and they're very generous and very um, giving. And if you have enough, and certainly so many of us do, why not share the over-the-top with someone else? I think that we need more than ever to start thinking about that, especially now. And I think the Magisterial Son will bring that to our attention. We must have a more um, joy in giving to others as much as the joy that we have in giving to ourselves. Well, the Urantia book says this is not an egocentric universe. I am not the only person that exists in this world and in this universe. There are so many other beings that, are, mm -hmm. that exist and are, are trying to uh, work out their existence and their ascension and their duties why not us try to help them look outside of ourselves, put attention on them also, and try to help them? Yes. Father and Mother, we thank you for coming. They have left. They are gone. Uh, we look forward to your next visit. And we will try to remember three times a day to thank you, to give you more love, and appreciate all the blessings. Thank you. Would you give the time? The time is 10.04. Thank you so much. What a wonderful world it will be when everyone sincerely seeks to fill their hearts with the endless love and joy that is given so freely and lovingly by our Father and Mother in Heaven to all their children. Oh, what a day it will be when everyone in the world joins together in one accord to acknowledge worship and adore our one true source of life and love. Oh, what a time it will be when war and strife is replaced by a desire to love and serve one another in an atmosphere of peace and prosperity according to the divine law. 
I invite you to join with me in opening our hearts more fully to the Father and Mother. Receive blessings beyond belief and measure. Fill your hearts with love and joy. Let the light of a brand new life shine within you and bring you to that great new day when love and joy reign supreme. Open my heart. 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 Open my he
touches our minds Whoa, peace is a lasting peace A peace that pervades our lives World peace is a A still small voice that whispers love in the deepest depths of our being. Oh, peace is a heavenly peace, peace that enriches our minds. that pervades our lives World peace is a shining reflection of the beauty and grace of God The pearl Perfect symmetry of male and female Joining in the human song Whoa, peace is a heavenly peace A peace that enriches our minds that pervades our lives Our world is filled with an abundance of heavenly peace and divine love a most gracious gift from God It is a love and a peace that is ever-present and ever-available everywhere and to everyone. We partake of this divine beauty and grace to the extent that our hearts, our minds, and our lives are open to the wisdom that all of life on every level of existence is interconnected and ultimately one. It is this awareness that moves us to love ourselves more, to cultivate an everlasting peace, and to share this love and peace with others for the upliftment of our world. Yes, our world is filled with an abundance of heavenly peace and divine love a most gracious gift from God. World peace is the great celebration of oneness in the truth of God that all of life is connected in heaven as it is on earth. World peace is a heavenly peace, a peace 
that enriches our minds Well, peace is a lasting peace A peace that pervades our lives Well, peace is a heavenly peace That enriches our minds Oh, peace is a lasting peace A peace that pervades